I know that you've told Boss and I when we did the interviews for the uh, information that you weren't as angry as you used to be. Yeah. Do you think that's a plus or a minus to a fighter? It's a plus for me because uh, I'm more calm and I'm a thinker. Before, I, I think I was just uncomfortable with me and like what I was doing as, as far as my training goes. I was, ups, I was upset. My coaches and them, they tried to get me to do the right thing, but I was always just trying to do my own thing. Now I'm listening to my man, Mark Coleman. And um, we, we kind of took our training on the road. Instead of staying at home where our family and friends can get at us, we got away from Ohio, went to Houston, and we trained with South Solis. And I think, it, I think it's a nice alliance, the Hammer House going down there, getting away, um, beating each other up, just like we do at home, except there's more, more, uh, more continuity, I guess. You know, we just, we, we're gelling, we're gelling. And today, I think we gel just at the right time. Okay. What have you been listening to musically lately? What type of music have you listened to recently? Lionel Richie. Lionel Richie, what song? What music? Ah, almost all. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Come on. No, go ahead. Say you, say me. Say for all. Oh, man. Are you singing that to Kevin Randleman? Marillo Ninja Hua from Shootbox Academy in Curitiba, Brazil, is now going to face Kevin the Monster Randleman. And he is a monster. The last show here at the Pride, yeah, he really showed he was a monster. He showed some flying double knees from some positions. You had to see the fight to believe it because you can't explain it. Is he going to take the fight to the ground? Pretty much for sure. But can he keep Marillo on the ground? We don't know. Vandalman has said that he wants that Pride Middleweight title, which is currently held by Vandalay Silva, Ninja's stablemate. He's got to get through Ninja first. Boy, that's going to be a tough job. What do you think has the fastest shot in the business? It's got to be me. It's got to be me. I agree. Unless, unless, unless the hammer, you know, you know what I mean? But I, I think I got one of the fastest shots. I'm, I'm just very, I'm kind of a counter kind of guy. And if I see the foot coming, I shoot. If I see the hand coming, I duck, get out the way. Even if I get hit, I'm still coming for that shot. I won't take the shot unless I think I'm going to get it, and I won't take the shot unless I want to take it down. Ninja, a lot of women have written in letters that they think that you are the handsomest person they've ever seen. Now, do you ever think about coming to the United States to become a movie star? I want to go to the United States. Mas ator só se for mais pra frente, lá quando você vai aposentar, eu faço o que eu gosto, é lutar mesmo. E fico muito feliz, fico muito feliz. Eu tenho um site meu, é www.murilonija.com, que vocês vão entrar no meu site, vocês vão conhecer mais sobre mim. E eu recebo muitos e-mails dos Estados Unidos, de mexicana, de americana. Isso é muito fã minha, muito fã mesmo. They're playing your song again. Oh, if the people would only knew. Actually, the Arabo song is a little bit of a start like this. But speaking of Amarillo Ninja Hua, here he comes into the ring. And no telling, is he going to have the ninja outfit? We don't know. Yes! In You know, he doesn't really look like the kind of guy that likes romantic music, does he? No, especially Lionel Richie. <laughs> A showgun. Yeah, he looks like the kind of guy that would like, uh, I don't know, something else. But I tell you, as soon as he loses the mask, we're going to see that smile that has charmed so many fans already around the world. Yeah, he is so relaxed before his fights. It's uh, incredible. You can interview him like five minutes before, and then he's still smiling and laughing. Yeah, he's losing the mask now. But he's got to be serious now. I mean, Randleman is ready for action. 
to me, Marilo Ninja Hua is one of the most interesting figures in the face of the new martial arts generation, the new mixed martial arts generation. He's a smiling, happy guy that comes from Shootbox, one of the most dangerous and deadly gyms on earth. But you know, that man there, Kevin Randleman, is gonna give him everything and more. This is really a make it or break it fight because both these guys are top 10 middleweight, light heavyweight, 205 pound and below fighters. This, this fight means a lot in the gist of what is to come for title shots, for who's gonna rise up and who's gonna fall down. Yeah, Ninja in the ring. This is the fight we've been waiting for, baby. Man, I, I tell you, Randleman is more pumped than I've seen him ever. Oh, yeah, he's pumped. <laughs> And Murillo Ninja is focused and, as you said before, boss, relaxed. Oh, oh man, oh, man, here we go. Stare down city. Maybe they don't know each other too well. Maybe they don't understand each other. Maybe they're going to try and terminate each other. Oh, God, this is going to be something. Come on! It's fights like this that people pay money to see around the world. And here we have it right now, Pride Fighting Championships. Goal 33, Ninja versus Randleman. It's on, folks. Whoa. And there's the takedown already. Well, we knew that was going to happen. It looked like uh, Ninja wanted to trade, and Randleman changed his mind. Thought, no, nah, not yet, not just yet. Left hook, takedown. Well, boss. They're going to uh, restart these guys back in the middle of the ring because they're up against the ropes, which brings to mind, uh, in the last fight where uh, Volk was, was knocked out with that knee and then went through the ropes, in the Pride Fighting Championships, if a fighter inadvertently goes through the ropes, they stop the fight right then and there and let the fighter regain uh, the fight back in the ring. You can't win a fight by knocking a guy through the ropes. That's, no, that, we, we don't allow that. Yeah, that would be ridiculous. Yeah, exactly. But uh, I'm thinking that... This fight is going to get restarted in the center of the ring with Kevin on top in the guard of Ninja. But Ninja is like a, a Houdini escape artist from the bottom. Yep, but you know what? I've been uh, under underneath Randleman, <laughs> and he has a very good base. I can tell you that. But we're going to see that base tested in about... 10 seconds. Yeah, that's true. When referee Yuji Shimada says fight, we're gonna see it tested. Is Ninja gonna try for an arm here? Yes, he is. He's trying to maybe use that as a, as a back door for a thing to escape, but that's just not gonna work on an arm like that. Redolent. But it'll really annoy him. Randleman only has to jump over to the other side if he wants now. Well, I don't know, boss. He's creating pressure there. I don't think he can submit him from here, but no. Randleman's having to deal with it now. He's simply got to jump over. Yeah. Let's hope he knows that. Oh, no. He's, no, not, he's, he's caught. He's, oh, he's, he's yeah. caught. Wow. Yeah, there's nothing. What he can do now is or grab his, the inside of his left leg, his own left leg. So put his knee up, step on his left foot, then grab the back of his knee and with your left hand and put, put it back down. Because now it looks like... Are they going to restart them in this position? Wow. Whoa, he's going to get out. Oh, no, this is not good. Not good, not good. Whoa. Wow is right. The man with the full contact fighter trunks, Morello Ninja, on top. Half guard of Randleman, and uh, if Randleman has a weakness, it's fighting from his back. 
Yeah, but it's kind of strange because he trades with Mark Holman and he puts him pretty much always on his back, I guess. That's what he told me himself. Okay, well, we'll see. He's got a buck out, he's got a... He's mounted. Yep, that's has got to get out here. He's, he's, he's got full mount, and we're not even halfway through the round yet. I would have to say that if there be a position that Kevin was in a disadvantage, it would be this position right here. Yep. He's a top player. He likes to be on top. Oh, there's seven minutes left in this round. If Ninja plays his cards right, he might be able to get... Oh, wow! Explosive turn there. Yep, that's it's what we were talking about before the match. Right. The endurance of Ninja and the explosive power of Kevin Randleman. Yeah, you know, look at that left hook by Randleman. Now, Randleman even admitted that when he was put on his back by, by Randy Couture in the Ultimate Fighting Championship, that that was a weakness. I think he worked so hard, as you said, with Mark Coleman. Yeah. That, look what he did. He flipped Ninja over. Yeah. Now, Ninja is known as one of the best grapplers at shoot box. So, are we going to see any of his submission attempts? Well, he's got the guard. We saw already one. He did it very well. Uh oh, go to triangle, side triangle, and Kevin wants to stand back up, and Kevin comes blasting in. It's going to be a suplex, I think. But Ninja's got a good. Oh, oh nice left knee. I like that move. Look at Ninja. Oh, Kevin, was that try Kevin tried to suplex and got mounted? Yeah. Okay, he's going to go for a high. Oh, no. Side mount. No. Side mount. Good position for Ninja. Ninja can play around with a Kimura or a key lock and start throwing the knee. Look, he's going the elbow to the body, which is legal here in the Pride Fighting Championships. Kevin should explode now. Bridge as high as he can and then throw Ninja on his back. That's what he should do right now. And Ninja's doing a good job here. Well, I'll tell you what, this, this fight is every bit as action packed as we thought it would be. And if you want action like this and more, pick up in February the Pride Fighting Championships video game from THQ. Ninja on top. Kevin should grab his hands together, but around the waist of Ninja and throw him on his back. This is not good, but maybe good to escape, no. Look what Ninja is doing, his very smart game. He's cross facing uh, the face, actually, the, the front of Kevin's face, to this side, and then knees him in it. It's a very smart thing. Well, Ninja tried the mount earlier, and Kevin reversed him. Then he, he changed his strategy, which to me, I'm sure he got directions directly from his corner. Say, go for side mount. Yep. He's doing it good. Double underhook, Kev. Yes, sir. Yep, I hear Mark Holman saying double underhook and then escape, and that's exactly what he should do. Because he's got all the power to do it. Yeah. He would escape to the left, correct? Bang, under. Put his right arm underneath Ninja's uh, belly and then just explode him off. Uh oh. Yeah, he can bridge him off. If he does a double other hook like Mark Holman is telling him, he can do it. He's got to do it because Ninja is hurting him right here. Yes, he is. And this position, just grab your hands together and throw him on his back. As compelling as this is in a warped way, I'd like to see this fight stand back. Up. Me too, please, yes. I really would. Because Kevin likes to bang a little bit, and we know Ninja does. Okay, Ninja kneeing the arm of Kevin Randleman. Right away after that, his body. Yeah, if somebody's working, it's a Ninja. Three minutes left, round number one. That's a long time. So he's got to get out now. He's got to do what Mark Coleman tells him to do. Double underhook, explode out, back on the feet. You know, Kevin wanted this fight with uh, Ninja a while back. As a matter of fact, he wanted to fight with Ninja before Ninja fought Arona. Now, Ninja did drop the decision to Ricardo Arona in the last Pride Fighting Championships, but it was such a close fight. I don't think his stock 
dropped that much from that loss. No. No way. And right now, Ninja is controlling the action. That's it. There it is. The explosion. And look at this. Now what? Oh! Good left hand by Randleman. Ninja waited for a second. Now Ninja's got to expect those punches to come. And Ninja going to spin around. Oh, they're back to staying. Oh! High kick by Ninja. Ninja swinging wild there. Randleman should keep his hands up here. Left hook. Randleman should keep his hands up here. Yep. Because he's going he's to eat a high kick or a knee or a punch if he got his hands down. But well, unfortunately, he got the clinch. But look, man, these guys are really, really expending a lot of energy in this first round. Oh. Yep, that's that left knee to the head from the shoot box. They all do it. Oh, yeah. It's, it's very much reminiscent of Ernesto Hoos, actually. Hoos likes that knee, too. And I think maybe he, he probed two times with that, throwing it lightly. I think the next one, if he sees the opening, he's going to lay a lot of leather behind that knee. Okay, now they got to restart him again. Oh, Ninja comes flying oh. across the Oh! oh. Randleman drops Ninja! Oh, and again, right... But Ninja comes right back at him and wants to trade, and Randleman takes him down again. Whoa, Randleman, if he would have kicked him there in the head. Yeah, but I don't know, maybe because he's wearing shoes and it's up to the, the, the referee. Yeah. Man, but Randleman, he hit him with a good shot. Yeah. So I think that Randleman's courage in standing probably just leapt up, but, you know, he still took him down. He wanted to maybe, you know, play his game. He doesn't want to sit there and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ninja from Shootbox. <laughs> no. it, it gives the guy a chance. You want to win the fight. He's got to stop hitting hard now. As, as, seconds. Yeah, as this round winds down, we've seen this fight turn and twist and go back and forth. We've seen both men have the advantage. It's just so close already. Like I said before, they're going to have to really rejuvenate themselves. And that, I think that'll be one of the keys to victory, how quickly each fighter can rejuvenate themselves in the corner. Yep, exactly, man. You took the words out right out of my mouth. We know that Nick is a little Terminator. Man. He's got a lot of stamina. Yeah. Oh, but okay, Randleman stands up quickly too. Walks to his corner. Whoa, I can't wait for the start of round number two. Well, there were, there were a couple of impressive things here, and I would have to say both of them were by Randleman. Number one, he, he flipped over Ninja really well from the mount. Number two, Randleman dropped Ninja, and I, and I hope we get to see a replay of that, because that was surprising, because Ninja wanted to, you know, get into a shootout with him standing, and Randleman, you know, he said, all right, check this out, and then bop. Now, here it is. He's going for the hammer lock uh, from the half guard, and this created a lot of it, but Randleman escaped, and it was, look at this, ooh, he almost got into trouble, but got back into, like, guard. He got out of trouble there. Yeah, Ninja didn't lock his feet together tight enough. Otherwise, he could have finished the fight. Right? Look at that yeah. explosive wow. power. Man. And now he starts hitting him, bang, bang, yeah. and talking to him, I think. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Now, here we go. Let's see this. Watch. Whoa, yeah, Watch yeah, he this punch, it. right? Oh, you know what? It was kind of a slip. It, it, it was kind of a slip because he didn't really catch him clean with a punch. It was more of a slip. Well, it looked like a punch, but yeah. it was a slip. So, wow. That was a close fight because Ninja went for the submissions. Randman definitely got the takedown. He's got a couple real key reversals. And uh, landed a couple good punches from uh, Ninja's blind side. A very competitive match so far. Coleman just screaming instructions, getting Randman more wound up, but you, know, you really don't need to do that. He's already wound up. <laughs> yeah. It's not stop. Everywhere you see him, there's one pull of lightning yeah. walking. Energy. That's what you think about if you see him. And he's ready to go again. Randleman's first two fights in the Pride Fighting Championships were against much easier opponents than Ninja. So he's really stepping up in class here, although he's been in with some great fighters like Randy Couture and Pedro Hizzo. But now he's back in the A class with Ninja. And Ninja, he always gets stuff, guys. Just coming off a fight with Arona. And before then, it was Mario Sperry. 
Well, we're, it's it's just everybody's <laughs> waiting for the explosion. Yeah, I think Ninja's corner said, "Be patient, and pick your shots." Oh, and he goes right into a body lock and it's taken down again. Now Kevin got to escape the half guard. <laughs> He just got a knee with the right. Yep. Work on that left eye. Come on, Cam. Win this round. Yeah. Throw some punches, Kevin. You got to get busy. Throw some punches. And uh, what position is this, boss? <laughs> yeah, good. I just wanted to ask you that. I got you first. This this young Claude Van Damme. Shh. Sit on the side position. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, man, Randall was limber. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, this guy should be throwing high kicks with that kind of like, extension on those legs. Yeah. And with the power in them. Whoa, that would be a scary thought right there. Yeah. Cam's got to work. He's got an open guard. He's got to pass it now. Bang. Go to the side. Well, we've got Ninja again on the bottom, same way he was earlier in the fight, and also the same way he was for a good part of the Arona fight in his last um, appearance here at Pride. Do you think that Ninja needs to work on his escape from the bottom is more? Yes, I think so. But I got to say, though, that uh, Arona and Kevin Reynolds, those are two guys. Two of the greatest. Yes. At controlling you from the top. Yeah, yes. So, for sure. So uh, he's not going to have many problems with other people. Yeah, because he never did. But then he never faced wrestlers the caliber of Kevin Randleman or Ricardo Arona, two of the best in the business at 205 pounds and below. Yeah, he's got to go. He's got to work. That's it. That's what we want to see. There we go again. Here is Coach Mark Holmes shouting. Close his eye with the punches. Yeah, because Ninja's right eye is swollen already for the punches. <laughs> Now Ninja gets guard here, and then he goes to half guard. I'll tell you what, we've said this before, that uh, Randleman, uh-oh, look, look at that. Uh, that did land a little bit now. Ooh. Man, what a left hook. That was a good shot. Man, he should go down. I'll tell you what, man, I like that left hook for Kevin Randleman. I'd like to see more of it standing. He, know, he told us about it. He did. He did. He said, I got a great left hook now. <laughs> uh oh. Yo, 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 yo. Now what? This isn't what he planned. He should explode now. Right away. Right away. Oh, he should have never done that. Yeah, he lost his position. He should move now because maybe uh, Ninja is still a little bit dazed of that punch. He should react. He should get out. If you want to rest, try to rest the top, but not in this position now. Yeah, I feel he's gonna put his right hand on a double under him. Bang, he's gonna get out. He's gotta do it now. Well, Randleman has seen his, his, his intentions quite clearly that he has got his eyes on that middleweight title. If he gets through Ninja, then it would seem to be a clear path that he would want to challenge Vandalay Silva in a title shot, and that would be a legitimate challenger. It's either him or Arona. But what I'm seeing here, uh, I'm seeing, uh, I'm very impressed with, with Randleman uh, because of the way he's handled Ninja thus far. Now, Ninja is on top. If Ninja can turn the tide, then Ninja is kind of almost at a dead end road because his stablemate is the champion. Yeah. But he's got plenty of other fights, like maybe a rematch with Arona. A lot of other fights out there for him. And Ninja did say he wanted to fight Paul Filio from, uh, from Brazilian top team. Wow. That's a show. But he's got to get through Randleman first. Yeah, let's see if he can pull this one off. But to be honest, I don't know that Randleman can stop Ninja. If he decisions him, again, Ninja will be in that uh, limbo land of what to do next. If he gets a victory over Paul Filio, it might put him back in the you know, position. Okay, Ninja on top at the end of that round, boss. Um, it's close right now. It's close. I see uh, Ninja, we can't see it on the screen, limping back a little bit to his corner. Randleman jumped up, 
like he has nothing. So uh, round three, I think he's going to come out, and he's got to throw it in left hoop, man. Yeah, uh, and follow it up with the right straight. Uh, Randleman would never say something like this as an excuse, but I saw him backstage about a half an hour before the show started, yeah. and he had complained that he had injured his ankle while he was warming up at the ring pre-fight. Yeah, and it was bad. Yes, it was bad. He's limping, and well, I was really worried. Okay, there's Ninja, and he's getting a lot of uh, attention from the doctors. They're looking at that uh, right eye, and I think Ninja may be in a come-from-behind come situation here, boss. Yep. Let me see the left hook. He comes up. Boom! Oh, that no. was that takedown. Yeah. I, I want to see the left hook. Yeah. It was a takedown off of Kevin's own right, right hand. Look how Kevin keeps his eyes right on Ninja. Perfect. And he throws that right hand right here. Look at this. Oh, and now you know, perfect. Ninja rolled with it, but then he got right into a body lock and caught. Oh, what Boing. a power. Look, look at this yeah. power. <laughs> yeah. And it, I mean, at 205 pounds, there's not too many people that can stand up without getting taken down against Kevin Randall. Jesus. What you know, a force. You know, just for takedowns, it might be an interesting to see Randleman and Arona see who took who down. But I think Randleman will get him down. Yeah, he will get taken down. I, Randleman, I asked Kevin, uh, who had the fastest shot, like as in to try to get a takedown in the business, he says, I do. But then he said, well, deferring to Mark Holman, of course. Yeah, OK. I just wanted to say, listen, man, my clock 17 has, but Silver. right away you said Silver. he was referring to the takedowns. Yeah. But uh, I think Ninja knows he's got to get into gear here. He's got to do some damage. But man, Randleman is giving some, him some problems. Randleman's hard to hit. Oh, that's who he is. And it hit him. It was, look, 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 he's got him. Oh, if he's he, got him. If he knocks out Ninja, that will be. I'd like to see Randleman try and. He pulls it. He's got. Oh, oh. my God. Ninja was stunned. He couldn't see. Yeah. I think he couldn't see. He closed his eyes. You see still. Yeah, he's still. That's what the referee's going to look at. It's too much open, I'm telling you. Oh, he cut him. Oh. Now that's a left hook. That is a left hook. Man. Boss, I'm telling you. He told us. I see some good left hooks, but that is a weapon right there. That is a serious weapon. Now we got plenty of doctors because we want to ensure the, the safety of the fighter. And uh, Ninja's got to know he's in a, he's in a bad situation. Well, I'll tell you, Kevin Randleman has been training a lot with Saul Solis, and it seems that training has been paying off, Saul Solis being the very noted uh, Muay Thai instructor. You can say that again. Yeah, you could. Yeah, have a lot of discussions there. Hujamar is looking at Ninja. Uh, it may be uh, a last minute. That that uh, that right eye looks bad, and the referee is basically telling him it's over. It's over. He won the fight. Wow. Impressive, man. Ladies, we see, ladies and gentlemen, we saw Randleman growing into his last fights like unbelievable. Boss, I tell you, man, Kevin Randleman never ceases to surprise us or amaze us in his last uh, appearance. Uh, in his last appearance, he did those those knees, those flying knees. Yeah. Now he does a left hook from hell. Yeah. And he took out Ninja. Wow, they're going to jump things. <laughs> this is a great and big victory for Kevin Randleman. Okay, it was 20 seconds of round number three by that. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, my God. And now watch the onslaught he's going to do now. What a brutal shot. Ninja dropped his hands and bang. 
You know, Bosh, that's the that's the counter for the left inside kick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when you throw a left kick, it's All a left right. hook. We and see it works. <laughs> oh god. And now the foot finishing. Cool. Watch this, watch this. What a power. Whoa, Kevin. Man, left hook. Woo! Well, I'll tell you what now. It's got to be Randleman versus Vanderlei. It's got to be. That fight must happen now. Because in, in a lot of ways, Ninja was the gatekeeper of the shootbox team of the Pride Middleweight Championships. And now that gatekeeper has been stopped, literally. And this is a huge setback for Ninja. I, it won't be the end because he's so young and so talented, but he's gonna have to go back to the drawing board a little bit, whereas Randleman, his stock has skyrocketed. Skyrocketed, exactly like you said. He's getting better every hour. This is gonna be very scary, man. He's gonna dominate the middleweight division.